Welcome guys to the second part of our tutorial. Alright, so what we're gonna do we're gonna create a new collection view controller right here. We're gonna connect it every time somebody click on this one, it's gonna go push to this view controller. Remember you have to hold the key, control, click and drag, push. Alright, so we have connection every time I'm clicking here I'm gonna go to this new view controller now this new view controller I'm gonna do a little bit of design really quickly I wanna have one two three label I wanna the background to be any color uh, Okay, this one is nice. This one I want to be multi-line because it's going to have a lot of content. This is the summary, by the way. Multi-line. Change this a little bit. Good enough. This is the title. And I'm going to push to put the date of the new, of the article right here. Okay, now I need to create a class to associate with this collection view controller. Right click, new file, next. So this is going to be called news list because it's a list of the news with that particular field. And I need to create a class to associate with the particular cell. Okay, so this is a subclass of cell, and this is going to be called new cell. Okay, so I have a new cell right here. This cell will be used inside uh, this new controller, so I need to import it. Import news, feed, uh, new cell. So, this one will receive a feed, a URL to a feed, so it knows which feed to, to, to load on this list. So, property, non-atomic, strong, ns, URL, feed, URL. Okay, now I have the URL that I know that I can get those news from. And here, properties. Oh, sorry, I don't know it's already defined, I just need to synthesize. Synthesize the feed. Now I know I can use it. And I want to call that function. And I want to call it every time my view appears. So I'm going to call view did appear. And here I'm going to do super beauty. Here animated yes and I want to create a function this is for yeah request the most request I want to create a function uh, close refresh because it's gonna be called every time I my view actually appears and this is what I'm going to actually download and parse uh, the content of that particular feed that we just received. So I'm going to use a parser because I need to parse this in this um, XML parser. This is my parser. XML parser. Allocate init content of the URL so we have it feed URL once we have it and when I want to have my parser I need to define its delegate and its delegate is going to be me so this class will be the delegate for the parser it means this class is going to parse uh, the problem is that I'm having 
this warning that basically tells me that my current class doesn't support the parsing protocol. So I can just add it and I success. Parser delegate, and you see when I come here, the error will just disappear. And when I have it, I need to parse. Okay, so now I'm parsing. Problem is, the functions for parsing are not there, so I have them into another a bunch of codes that I'm just gonna copy and paste inside my. It's gonna take, I'm always gonna take a lot of time if I have to write everything. So I'm just gonna copy it. You guys will be able to download it. You don't have to understand it because the object of this tutorial is just to show you uh, how to use the interface builder and this object, which is the collection view, not how to parse XML. But nevertheless, we're gonna parse something coming from an RSS feed, which is an XML, so we need to parse it. So my code has been parsed from this line all the way to this line, okay? We have a bunch of errors that we're gonna fix right now. In order to be able to parse, I'm gonna need to define this and this guy and this guy. So I already have them ready to be paste. Okay, so this is just for XML parsing purpose. Okay, and I need these guys need to be synthesized as well. So I'm gonna copy here. So see that a lot of my errors have disappeared. Now I need to define an array that populate that will be populated by the parser. And that array is actually the one that's gonna populate uh, our control view. So it's gonna be no, not tiny strong because it's gonna be minus mutable array. It will be called feed list. And it need to be synthesized as well. Feed list. And list. Okay, so this was this error. It's not feed list, it's news list. <laughs> okay, so this rename it, rename it here. Okay, and now this guy hasn't been defined. Now this is the collection view, so we need to tell it when it to be reload. For that reason, we need to tell the class or put a references to the class of this uh, control view. Now to do that, I'm gonna double click here. So this this is my control view, but I can see it's just a collection view controller, and I want it to be part of this class. So I need to change this. So I'm going to show. Uh, let's just do it like that. I'm gonna show these properties select my control view and do it right here and here I need to define the correct class and the correct class is news list that's nice it says news list as you can see I need to do the same thing for this the correct class is new cell but apparently I haven't created it yet not new feed, is new cell, so I need to create that as well. Going back to my project. Oh, I have it. Oh, well, there's a mistake. It's actually called subclass the wrong, uh, the wrong class, so I'm gonna have to do it again. So I delete this one, move to trash, new file. Next, and this is collection view, collection view cell, and I'm gonna call this news list, uh, news cell. Save it. 
Thank you. Going back to my main table. Select my cell. And this time, if I do lock, yay, it's right here. This is the new cell. Okay. And I also want to define inside the references to all these guys. Okay. Let's create a little bit of design. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go. Let's just clean up a little bit all that. Four, two. Yeah. Uh. All right. So now it's actually subclassing the right class. Okay. So what I need to do is to add uh, the IB uh, bullet. It's called bullet. Control, hold the key control and drag it here. This is for the title. And this is for the summary. Summary is pretty much the same thing. And this is for the date. And there you go. Save. I have an error. I need to check it out. Where's the error coming from? It's here and it's gone because it's been deleted and redefined. And now it's right here, so it's okay. All right, and I really need to define this guy as well. So this guy is. Collection view. This is the collection view, and we're gonna put our references into the appropriate class. This is the class. Scroll all the way up. Control, hold the key, control, drag. It's gonna be called M Collection View. Okay, so. Of course, we only have one window left right now. If I click here, we can see that this is the the IB bundle that we just um, IB outlet. Sorry, has been defined right here. And so what it means is that when my parser the end the parse is going to tell the collection view to reload the data basically we don't have to understand everything about xml but we need that obviously to have some data in, in our collection view uh, okay so i need to check everything i'm just gonna run the project to see what happens because i kind of lost uh, what i am so this is what we had before i click here and nothing happens. <coughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause and then in the next tutorial we are going to debug and, and finish the entire project. Thank you.